All right, son. Why don't you tell me what happened? Leave nothing out. I could have stopped her. I know I could have stopped her. But I let her go. And now this. All right. Start from the beginning. All right. It all began around Christmas time. See, there was this guy named Grumby, and he had a Confederate gang, and he was going all around the South, ravaging the place, and scaring all the women and children. Somebody had to put a stop to him. And that somebody was my granny. You see, she was a big scam artist, could con any man out of his money. Now this old farmer, Ab Snoops, he, he knew this. So, he goes up to my granny, and he tells her about the gang. And he asks her for some help. Hey Rosa. Ah, what can I do for you? I've got a proposition for you. May I? Of course. Okay, what's this proposition? Well, I'm sure you've heard of a gang called Grumby's Independence. They've been going around, burning buildings, killing people, threatening women. It's got the whole town frightened. Yeah? What of it? Well, people have tried to stop them, but no one can, and I've heard you're pretty good at making official documents. So, I figured you could whip us up something requisitioning the gang's horses. Without their horses, they can't get anywhere quickly. And we'll take the rest of it from there. So, that's all I gotta do? Forge a little paper? And sign and deliver it. We'll give you $2,000 for your troubles. Deliver it? A grown man can't get there safely, let alone an old woman. She'll be killed for sure. Now, now, calm down. It's true that only a man with a death wish would go near them. But Granny's an old woman. No man would ever harm a lady. You don't know that. You can't go, Granny. You just can't. Granny, if you go, there's almost no chance you'll make it back alive. Oh, come now, Bayard. I'll be fine. They wouldn't kill an old woman like me. Bayard's right, ma'am. It's too dangerous. Isn't someone like Uncle Buck? I'm afraid that won't do. Uncle Buck is not the world's best actor. I highly doubt he'd be able to pull it off. I mean, Ab's got a point. I mean, if Buck goes and they find him out, they'll come for me next. And I'll guarantee you to die. At least this way, I have a chance. Let me go, Granny. I promise I won't let anybody know you're involved or nothing. No way, I'm not putting you in that kind of danger. I'm old. I'm gonna die anyways. I'd rather go out and stop. So, ah, what should I write? Just something about repossessing their horses. Say they missed some payments or something. Aye. Official notice. Missed three payments. Horses taken. Signed. Done. Deliver it to that old abandoned cotton factory. You know the one on the edge of town? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where you gotta go. Granny, don't do this, please. How do you know you're not gonna die? How do you know that I will die? I don't, but why take the chance? It's not worth your life. Now, if I don't do this, Baird, who will? Now get in the car. What? Get in the car, it's an order. Yes, ma'am.
All right, boys. This is it. No, Granny, please don't do this. You know what's going to happen. You're going to go down there and Grumpy and his men are going to shoot you. You're going to die, Granny. Nonsense. They'll do no such thing. This is my one chance. I have to do this. No, I won't let you. Ringo, help me out. Don't no. do this, Granny! No, I gotta go! Ow. Stop! No, don't go, Granny! Stop! Now, I'll be gone for a couple minutes, and I'll be right back! I will be just fine! No! We have to go after her. We have to make sure she's okay. We have to be ready in case Grumpy's men starting attacking us. We've got to go. Don't interfere, though, unless something goes wrong. I know. We won't do anything. We'll just be. We'll be sure. We, I've got to make sure she's okay. 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 Let's go. Please, wake up, Granny. Please. 